We are welcome everyone to our first class. Our first lesson is on installation and uh, of LaTeX in our computers. So the first thing that you need to install is uh, a tech distribution. Uh, so if you're using uh, Windows, just search for MakeTech download. Uh, we're going to download uh, MakeTech 2.9, I think, uh, from their website, maketech.org. It's uh, open source, that's uh, why uh, I like it. So LaTeX is actually open source. So we are going to go to the download page. All right, so if you're using Windows, you're already there. If you're using Mac, you can just click on that. If you're using Linux, you, you can click on that. And then you can click all downloads. If uh, you want to, you have, you're using majorly a uh, 32 bit uh, Windows. Uh, this is very important because if you're using 32 bit, what you get here is for 64 bit. So the best thing if you're using Windows, go to all downloads, uh, choose your uh, choice here, make your choice here. Uh, if you, you want to install for 32 bit, that is if your computer is 32 bit and 64 bit if your computer is 64 bit. So just click there once and then you can just uh, download. It's actually a big file and since I have LaTeX, uh, MicTech, I don't need to download, but you need to download that. And then after that, you need to install it. You have to install the tech distribution first before we install a tech editor. So the next thing that we need to uh, download is a tech editor. Uh, I'm also preferring um, an open source. We have others that you, you will have to pay for, uh, but um, I prefer TechMaker or uh, Tech Studio, either of them. So the first link. So this is TechMaker. This is how it looks like. Um, so you can just download here for all, I think, Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, is a cross uh, whatever platform. Uh, so here you have Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, 8, etc., you can choose either of these. But I would prefer uh, this one, the .msi. Uh, if you're using Mac OS, uh, Mac OS X. You can download this one and Linux here. So once you download uh, and after MicTech has already installed, you can just go ahead and install TechMaker. So um, so once you install TechMaker, you can open uh, TechMaker. Uh, so this is how TechMaker looks like um, once you open it. We have uh, the normal icons, new document, open. When you have an existing document and you need to revisit, you can use this command, open, and then it will take you to the folder and then you can just open it. Uh, you have other icons, but this, this is the most important one here which is quick build. Uh, this arrow is what you use to run uh, the, the document in order to obtain an output. So we can also configure TechMaker here to your preferences. Uh, here on the right hand side, we have a built-in uh, viewer. 
some people prefer to use external uh, viewer. So this external viewer is something like, uh, in my case, it's going to use Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat. So when I run my document, it's going to open in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Uh, but I usually prefer the embedded one, uh, the, the built-in. So we have two types. You have a built-in, uh, which is not embedded, and then we have the embedded one. Uh, so I prefer embedded one, which is, um, so for the embedded one, you have this uh, kind of uh, windows. Uh, so you have this uh, output part. So when you run the document, you write your document here, you have your output here, and this is the message log. If your message log is not showing, you just need to click view and then click on this. In some cases, you also have the structure here, which tells you uh, the, the, like, the document structure is the document structure, basically. So that will be all for the uh, first lesson. Uh, meet you on the next lesson. Thank you.